Patel was facing one to three years behind bars. Some of the stipulations of Patel's suspended sentence include paying restitution and court fees, abstaining from alcohol, and no gambling. Patel will also undergo a mental health evaluation and perform 200 hours of community service. As a well-known firearm enthusiast, Patel's felony conviction bars him from owning a gun. News 41 spoke to Nye County District Attorney Bob Beckett about the case. On, on March 7th, he had actually hit the, uh, the jackpot playing a, I don't gamble, but playing the double-double game. And, and the, uh, the record of the jackpot was still being displayed. Um, and and, and it, unless somebody plays the double double game uh, and and and, it, and that that's erased, it stays up there. Uh, he played in the casino for approximately two hours on other machines. Came back to the machine that he had won two days earlier on, and then stood up and said, "Hey, I've, I've hit the jackpot." Went to the cage. The uh, the people that normally handle the payouts uh, were not there. The only person at the casino at the time was the, the manager of the food and beverage department. Uh, Mr. Patel apparently was very insistent that he be paid and, and because he had won the jackpot on that day. Uh, they did pay him. The next day, when the, uh, the people that actually handle those matters came in, they realized the error immediately, and Mr. Patel was contacted and, and told uh, that he needed to you know, re, you know, pay them back, and he did, he did not. I see. Now, uh, Mr. Patel claims he had witnesses to this uh, second jackpot. Well. Uh, no, uh, the, the, the jury didn't buy any of that, and uh, there were, the jackpot did, you know, it, it did register on the machine that the jackpot had been hit. However, that uh, the jackpots are uh, you know, advertised or, or you know, displayed for, for days on end after, you know, they, 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 the, the, the jackpots are, are hit, because, you know, probably for advertising purposes, to show people that, you know, that, that Someone that actually does win at casinos, uh, and they do. Um, and uh, but it, the case was is that he did not hit the jackpot on March 11th. He actually hit it on March 9th, and he'd been paid twice for the same jackpot. A visiting judge had to preside over this trial. Why is that? Uh, Mr. Patel insisted that the case not be heard by Judge Davis or Judge Lane. So Miriam Shearing, a former Supreme Court justice who is now a senior judge, was brought in to hear the case. Um, She's a very competent jurist and, and, and very experienced, of course, and uh, she did an excellent job in, in presiding over the trial.